Hi everyone, welcome to Motion Picture Sisters. I am Christy, and today I am going to do Valentine's movies to watch with the family or by yourself because that's probably what I'll do because I'm a big kid at heart. So the first one on my list is Shrek. Who doesn't love Shrek? It's about Shrek falling in love with Fiona, but not just that. It's Fiona falling in love with herself, liking herself because she is an ogre at night and the day she's a princess. But who doesn't love Donkey? Donkey's my favorite. So the next one is Romeo and Juliet. It is Romeo and Juliet in gnome form. I love it. It's gnomes on the opposite side of the fence, falling in love with each other. Parents are like, no, 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 no. But do they fall in love at the end? Do the parents say yes? I'll let you watch it. The next one is Winnie the Pooh, A Valentine for You. I don't think this is on Disney Plus, so if you have it, watch it. If you don't, try to find it. I, I don't know if it's on anything else. I, I likely doubt it, but I would like to watch it because it sounds cute. The next one is The Parent Trap. You can watch the older one or the other one with Lindsay Lohan. I'd rather watch the newer one, but I've never seen the older one. So I probably should give that a try. They're both, I'm pretty sure they're both on Disney Plus. So the next one I have is Monster High, Why Do Ghouls Fall in Love? That's a good one. I think Dragalora's old like love comes in the picture and Claude gets you know a little jealous. So that was a good one. Okay, the next I have is Enchanted. I'm waiting on the second one. That's also a good one to watch with your family. And the other one I also have on this list is Ella Enchanted with Anne Hathaway. That's a good one too. The next I have is The Princess Diaries with Anne Hathaway again. Also a good one. And the second one is good to watch too with your family. And then the next one I have is Mirror Mirror, which I will probably be watching. Which I like with Julie Roberts and Lily Collins. The next after that is Wally. Okay, so I could put all the Disney princesses on here too, but that is a given. You know, Snow White, Cinderella, Little Mermaid, Beauty and the Beast, those are a given to watch. But also, you need to watch the live action ones, Cinderella, Beauty and the Beast, those are always good to watch too. And then the next one on my list is, let me make sure I get this right because I don't have my glasses on. We bought a zoo. It's not Valentine's Day. Most of these aren't Valentine's Day. They're just related to it, you know. But I love We Bought a Zoo. It's a good family movie. You can watch it with anybody in your family. I'm, I'm pretty sure it's pretty PG. It might be pretty PG-13. I, it might be pretty PG-13. I'm not too sure. I have to check on that. But I'm pretty sure it's based off, I know it was based off the book. It might be based off a true story. It might be. Okay, next I have Be My Valentine Charlie Brown. I don't have this. This is from 1975. I wish I did. I don't. But there's also another one from 02, A Charlie Brown's Valentine. I don't have that one either. I need it. I need all of Charlie Brown's holiday ones. I have the Christmas ones, and I have the great, it's a great pumpkin Charlie Brown. Those are the only ones I have. Okay. I also put musicals down, but then I couldn't really think of all musicals to watch with families. I mean, of course you have Grease, but that's not really a family-friendly movie. Not really. I mean, these are more movies I wanted to put towards, like, little kids and up, but... You know it is what it is but so I put hairspray hairspray is not exactly for little kids but you, I guess like I would want my child to watch it when 13 up maybe I don't know it's up to you yourself this isn't just for families this is for anybody so also I was thinking the greatest showman now that one you can watch with anybody any age that one's a good one Katie also said that Up would be a good one to watch. I kind of agree. Up, Up is a good one to watch. And Lady and the Tramp would also be a good one to watch. I don't think I said that. In the live action, the cartoon live action, 
um, maybe Aristocats, somewhere along those lines. I mean, any Disney movie would be good to watch on Valentine's Day. I can't think of anything else, but yeah. And yeah, I, I can't think of any other musicals, but if you can, put them down below. Oh, and I was thinking Descendants. Descendants would be a good one too to watch. Because, you know, you got the little love with Mel. So, yeah. That would be a good one. I know there's a lot more that I could put on here, but I needed to narrow it down. But if you can think of any other movies to watch for Valentine's Day that is family friendly, go ahead and put it down below. So, thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day. And don't forget to subscribe if you like movies. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you liked it. And thank you for watching. Bye. This is for you, Lucy. Happy Valentine's Day. Okay, take it easy. You can do it. This is for you, Lucy. Merry Christmas. Oh.